Hi guys, and welcome back to More Than Cars. Here I have an Aston Martin GT8, and it is my new supercar. Now, as most of you are probably thinking, this is not actually a replacement to the McLaren 720S. I'd actually already agreed to buy this, and I was waiting for actually the previous person's finance company to final, finally settle their uh, remaining payments on it before I could take delivery because obviously the trouble I've had with the 720s I actually wanted something completely different and well I mean this is about as different as I uh, possibly could have get so uh, let's have a little closer look around this fantastic ca car really I mean I've not seen one in uh, actually all yellow livery now I've just collected it so um I've, I've, well, I've done 30 miles in it, and I have to say, the theatre and drama this car produces is absolutely fantastic. And so far, I am loving every moment of it. Not very many moments, 30 miles, but I can tell you now, this is going to make a fantastic summer car for me. We actually are planning on doing a road trip, mainly one of the... Uh, main reasons why I obviously was looking to buy another car because quite honestly obviously I wouldn't have trusted the 720 that is gone we can forget about that we will come back to McLaren in a year or so but for now I'm sticking with my well and true love of my life Aston Martins at the moment because the new Vantage is fantastic and this thing is probably in my mind the last final rendition of what the V8 Vantage is really a obviously super lightweight version of the 4.7 litre engine naturally aspirated. Now I'm going to have a little wander around the car point out some of the um, kind of amazing spec this obviously wasn't spec'd by me, this was spec'd by someone else, but honestly, the spec this guy has put on this car, wow, um, blows my mind a little bit. And actually reading down the option lists he ticked, he ticked everything. To my knowledge, every single option he could have possibly ticked, he did. So right from, obviously, the Q front edition at the front, my lovely new number plate, Mr. Phil, is on the uh, Aston Martin. Um, yeah, so obviously mirror caps, carbon, this car is kind of mace, mostly carbon. You'll have seen it obviously before, Schmee's got one, um, and I can honestly, after driving it, I'd actually bought this car um, before, um, I've never driven one, I'd never even heard one before I agreed to buy this. I wanted something that had a bit of drama that was completely different from a 720S or supercar-ish um, brand I've <coughs> oh, sorry genuinely I don't know what um, what real car to get next as the kind of mid-engine supercar so I wanted something with theatre something with drama and I've genuinely always loved Aston Martin so in my head a GT8 stick some miles on it bear in mind I've collected this and it had 65 miles on the clock it's now got just over um, well had 65 miles, they serviced it, so that's a few more, and it's now got just uh, just over 100, basically. So it's b brand new, needs running in, um, and basically I've got it this summer for a road trip to Monaco. That's the primary reason why I wanted something like this, and also why it's an automatic. Now, please don't get in the comments, hey, should about a manual? Yes, I realise the GT8 manuals will appreciate and probably are worth more than the automatic but when you are considering driving one of these cars for many many hundreds of miles every day automatic was clearly the sensible choice equally never seen one in yellow and this is sunburst yellow and i don't know if we can get up close in the sun the fleck on this is absolutely outstanding now i am going to do some minor alterations color wise because well, actually, I do like yellow, as obviously the my V8 new Vantage has bits of yellow on. Uh, and actually, my DBS Superleggera that is coming slightly delayed, also the reason why this is here, um, in with, well, bits with yellow on. I think there's a little bit too much yellow on here, and obviously I do love purple. So please get in the comments. Tell me if you think I'm going to ruin this car by sticking some purple on, because, well, 
I mean, purple's going to go on it. So uh, whether you like it or not, uh, there is going to be some purple additions to this car. Hopefully done in a tasteful manner, though. So anyway, let's jump into it because quite honestly, the outside is phenomenal and you can guess it is yellow everything. So, and it has got the most in crucial bit, the titanium exhaust. And obviously I will do a startup of this car because I've never heard anything so loud. Um, obviously all cue to have the yellow on the back. Um, a stunning carbon roof. I don't, I think this has got the, no, it hasn't got the plastic. You could actually spec plastic there and plastic there, I believe, that hasn't got this, but pretty much everything else it has. But inside is where the true, and I just love this wing. I mean, this wing is phenomenal. And to see that wing when you're driving along in the rear view mirror, uh, it, 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 it's honestly amazing. And I'm truly in love with this. Don't get me wrong, this is not a quick car. Technically, the new Vantage is quicker than this, but there's something about the theatre and drama of driving one of these that makes you feel that you're doing 120 when you're actually just doing 30 and Priuses are passing you. But the drama that this thing provokes, and I've always said about cars having emotion, and actually why I like the, the, the new Vantage, because it's still got emotion. Um, th this just sings, really does sing to me. Um, so it's actually already had PPF put on the front, so it's pretty much good to, good to drive anywhere. As I said, probably thinking some purple additions. I'm thinking changing the yellow highlights at the front, excuse my shadow, yellow highlights at the front to being purple, possibly a purple stripe. Don't know if that would be too much, but certainly possibly the side skirts uh, and the obviously yellow highlights here actually putting in purple. Anyway, let's get into the car because here is where it really is special and the chap has done a fantastic job of specking this thing so if we take a little look inside i hope this comes out on camera but it's actually a gray alcantara and that means that it's incredibly light when you're in it it feels open it feels airy it doesn't feel all heavy leather obviously it's got the sports um the I think these are carbon backed. If I actually move the seat forward by pressing the button, they are, they are the carbon backed race seats. And I've moved that forward. I have absolutely no idea how that moves back now. I'm hoping you just press that button again once it's gone fully forward. What I didn't realize, these cars under here actually have a gel battery. Ah, that's, yes, you press it again. Obviously the manual handbrake again, what I'm having to get used to putting back on. But anyway, so Q additions. We have the leather yellow edition on the flappy paddles. We also have the 12 o'clock pinstripe. Obviously all the stitching in here, apart from on the gray, what is nicely matched with gray, is actually yellow in the center console. The twiddly knobs in the middle are all painted a goldy yellow. It really does match quite spectacularly. The actual infotainment system itself is tinted yellow and the Bang & Olufsen upgraded speaker system has also been painted yellow. On the pull handles on the side we've got the yellow leather insert along with the yellow um, stitching. He has done an absolute fantastic job and obviously the, the yellow Vantage GT8. Honestly the guy who spec this all credit to you this is a well done classy spec the car is bold out there and actually matches beautifully all together and i apologize that i'm going to ruin it by putting purple on it but i need my little touch for the six or eight months that this is going to be in my possession but what an outstanding car and i'm blown away actually with how kind of well it drives it's actually riding on sport pilot cup twos michelin sport pilot cup twos and you genuinely can tell a difference it it is lighter it's about 100 kilos or not quite 100 kilos lighter than the re regular vantage slightly upped power i believe and obviously that titanium exhaust just sings absolutely sings um but you can tell it's sticky you can tell it's based on a racing heritage and that's really what kind of appeals to me. We can be driving along at 60 miles an hour, feeling you're in a race car. And honestly, I love it. 
and I hope you do too. I know it's wildly different from the McLaren um, and I appreciate a lot of you have been saying buy a Lambo, buy a Ferrari. Actually, I went into Ferrari to attempt to buy a Ferrari. The waiting list on the F8, because I've never had a Ferrari in the past, is basically two and a half years for me. So in my head, that is way too long to place an order for one of those. Um, I will wait till something else comes about. There might be an F12 Berlinetta coming to the channel very shortly. I really do want to try a Ferrari and I would like to get into their good books in potentially getting some new, newer cars from them. But at the moment, sticking with Aston, absolutely phenomenal car and so far I'm loving it. Obviously, the road trip in summary is going to be documented on the channel. We're going to drive down to Monaco over the course of about a week and it's fantastic and I can only think that this is going to be absolutely spectacular to drive it in. Do hope you love this. Let me set up this camera and do a start because that titanium exhaust is truly unbelievable. Ah, oh, it blows my mind. Guys, enjoy the rev start. Thank you very much for watching the channel. Thank you again for supporting the McLaren debacle. Let's put that aside. Let's move forward. Let's have some fun. See you again soon.